some stockings. Is it uh, me? Do I uh, not inspire you? No! How can you say that? I'm dedicated to you. I, I wholeheartedly believe in you. I believe in you too. I do, Willa. You know me better than anyone else. Who I am, where I come from. You know everything of what I want and need. Uh, there's just a lot of pressure. I want to do the right things by you. Uh, you, more than anyone, understand how desperately I need to get away from my parents. That horrible world has made everything in Paris so uncertain and unstable. But it's over now. There is hope and excitement. I want to be part of that team. You will, Chloe, I promise. We just have to find a way past this conflict you're having with your job at the bank. It's really holding both of us back. That? Oh, such a horrible small man. I can't stand them as the way he treats me. It's uh, demoralizing. I know, but he'll get his in the end. <laughs> and how does that end be? Hmm? It's been a month and uh, nothing changes. What is done just seems to get undone. I'm trying. It's just to hide sometimes, to you know, make, make the right choices, go the right direction. I don't want to screw this up, and every indication is I'm going to. How long can we go on like this before you keep up on me, you know? Before you uh, quit? Before you uh, forgotten? Oh, oh. I, I won't. You won't. I won't quit, and you won't be forgotten. I'm not going to quit on this. I think it's going to be really good. Everyone is going to love this and you and the whole thing. I won't quit. <laughs> I won't quit. All the times I've listened to those words, listen to you say them the way you said them to me. Mark, no. Enjoy this time while you have it, Chloe. It won't last. Perhaps longer than it did for me, but eventually... Please, Mark. Oh, no. Yes, Villa. Oh, who am I? Miss Part. Look, Mark. I need you to go. I'm trying so hard here. I really want to accomplish something. Accomplish something? And you think you can do that with her? She's the magical one now, is she? Yes, maybe she is. <laughs> She's not. Oh, I don't know who you are, but uh, she asked you to go. Shut up! Just shut up and get used to being silent. Because trust me. You'll be silenced just like I was, like, like all of us were. All of us? Oh, you think your story is special? That it matters? Perhaps it does right now, but it won't for long. She'll quit on you. Look, Mark, I didn't quit on you. I, ju I just needed to take a break. It wasn't going where it needed to go right then, but it will. I'll come back to it, to you. Uh, right now, though, uh, I need you to... To what? Clear the space. Ha! <laughs> clear the space? Do you really think I'll do that? Uh, hold on. Uh, you said uh, all of us. Oh, uh, what do you mean? There are others? No. Yes. I, I mean, uh, Mark, I know that you will never give me a moment's rest. You haven't so far or ever from the very first year. Why don't you torment me? Yes, Chloe. There are others. Too many others. Oh, you. You're right, Villa. I won't let you rest. I'm right here. Always right here with you. We all are. But is that what you want? Don't you keep us all here, right next to you? Right here as a reminder? It isn't like that. Isn't it? Wrapping yourself in your shame, surrounding yourself with your failures. So many failures. Oh, uh, Willa, what is this? What is he talking about? What is it your little mademoiselle wants, anyway? Is it power? Freedom? Or is it revenge, like me? Do you even know? None of those things. You are asking what do I want? You, you don't even know so Of course you don't know what I want. But don't ask her. I'll tell you. I want my voice. I want to be heard. And what's stopping that? Because trust me, sweetheart, we all want it to be heard. If you know anything of my story, you know it's my parents. And this does <laughs> work. No! So. That's not what's stopping you, doll. It's nothing and no one in your little world, whatever that world is. What is her world? Post-World War II Paris. Oh, 
<laughs> what is it that you think is stopping me? It's me. Shut up, Mark. It's me and all the others like me. All the other voices and characters who have lived and died at her hand. You're not dead. Obviously you're not dead. None of you are dead. Every waking moment and every moment that should be sleep but is all of you instead? None of you are dead! <laughs> what you don't know is I'm a well-regarded university professor, or at least I was, and so I lost my tenure on the accusations of a co-ed whose only talent was filling out a push-up bra, which, unfortunately, she did pretty damn well. I lost everything because of her, and just when I'm turning the tables to rip my revenge... Seriously? <laughs> yeah, we both know that stabbing the girl with an icicle so the murder weapon would well was stupid. Then come up with something else. You're the writer. Write something else. Don't you... Give up and stick it in a box. Write the ending. I tried. You think I didn't try? I did. I got stuck. You got stuck? Ha! No, Willa, you didn't get stuck. I did. You moved on to whatever little yarn you're twiddling with this piece of fluff, and I got stuck in that box. You do know the co-ed's in that box, too. The co-ed, my department chair, my wife, all stuck there in that box with an unfinished story. You? You are one of our characters? She created you in a That's whole right. story just as she... Maybe in your storyline you survived World War II, but I highly doubt you'll survive when her writer's block rears its <laughs> ugly and ever-present head. You're wrong. That can't be true. I am a readable and fully developed. Yeah, I did notice that. <laughs> okay, stop <laughs> Look, Chloe, I admit I made a few false starts, had some, some projects that didn't get off the ground. Believe me, I'm not proud. That's minimizing. False starts. False starts. It became uh, difficult, so you stuck them into the box and hoped that they would go away. Now you're seeing the plot play out. That's exactly what she does. I do more than that. They were key elements structurally that just weren't there. I keep going with something if it's just going to end up as garbage anyway. Garbage? Wow, that hurts. Dear, you're a monster. No, not me. I'm a writer. <laughs> <laughs> you are not a writer. You are a weak-minded athlete. These are real characters with some backstories and conflicts struggling to fulfill their art, which you, you set for them. And then we're just so much garbage. Okay, I'm just not having this conversation with you two. No, because I will not become garbage. I will not be cursed or cast aside. Uh, maybe the uh, French aren't historically known as fighters, but well, this one is. <laughs> well, hold on there, doll. What do you think? <laughs> Sweetheart. No! I left Edward! I'm not saying you can't kill her. I'm just saying you can't do it with a stapler. <laughs> Trust me, I thought of a lot of ways to kill someone in my storyline. Stapler isn't the answer. Well, lucky for me, then, it's June and I'm safe from a fatal, although ridiculously stupid, icicle attack. Well, that's it. Let me show you what's stupid. Oh. Oh. You people are insane! I didn't write you like this, either of you. Uh, maybe mark you a little bit. Oh, <laughs> the scissors. Hello, finish them. You finish our own stories. Willa, Willa, be in here. My hands are full. I can't reach the knob. <laughs> Don't open. I have to. Shut up. Pretend Willa. that no one's here. Who is she? My therapist. <laughs> Dealing with doubt, releasing shame, and uh, <laughs> tuning up your creative engines. <laughs> How's the read writing going this week? Uh, okay, I guess. I was doing pretty well with the Chloe and Paris story, but then just when I thought I'd finally break through that problem she was having with the man she works for? Yes, what happened? What usually happens. Oh, who was it this time? Mark. Oh. 
That's vengeful philandering, misogynistic, Professor. <laughs> <laughs> She's not <with> you. <laughs> Every time I think I'm finally going to finish something, I just get terrorized by these voices in my head reminding me of every failure, every unfinished failure. It's going to literally kill me. Oh, well, uh, we all know March is a villain. Hey, I'm right here. <laughs> but he doesn't need to be a villain in every story you create on paper or in your life. And two villains aren't all bad. Thank you. I'm not all bad. You learned a lot writing that story, right? You sharpened your skills. Oh. How much more we learn from our failures than our seeming successes. <sighs> Keep breathing. Embrace the attempts as much as you do the completions. Breathe. Embrace the attempts. There we go. We can all feel that. Come on, group hug. Group hug. <laughs> oh, oh, sorry. Yes, I do see what you're saying, and it makes total sense. Be grateful for the lessons learned along the way. No one was ever terrorized by gratitude, were they? It's okay to fail. Yes, it's okay to fail! <laughs> one thing, though. Maybe we don't fully embrace all the attempts. Maybe we can firmly and shake the attempts on their way out the door. It was just a harmless goose of the kaboom. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, what's all this? I guess I need to embrace it and firmly shake it, <laughs> mainly into the trash where it all belongs. Yes, clear the space and fully embrace what's right here in front of me. Let's write. <laughs>